Great to have you with us. I'm Joe Donlin. We begin here at 10 with a breaking news update. Minutes after a school dismissal and steps away from a police station, gunfire erupts. One person is dead, another teen injured. That shooting happened at State and Cullerton, and the scene carried on a few blocks to Cermak. That's where we find CBS 2's Jermont Terry tonight. Jermont? Joe, State Street is here in the South Loop is busy, is busy, and it was bustling with people, not to, people walking, not to mention students who were just dismissed from a nearby school when sh some shooters in a vehicle pulled up, stopped, and fired multiple rounds at two other people sitting in the car. Tonight, one is dead, and those shooters, they're still on the run. You can see the bullet hole in this windshield of this black Jeep. The passenger door left open with shattered glass. Well, I heard about four or five gunshots, and when I looked out the window, I looked to the north of me, and I saw a gentleman getting up off the ground. Lena Phillips lives near State in Cullerton. She originally thought the man was injured, but she learned quickly the person who fell to the ground was trying to stay safe and avoid the gunfire while walking in the South Loop. Obviously, he was uh, dropping to the ground for cover, and um, then I saw him get up and walk away. Multiple rounds went off and one bullet hit an 18 year old in the hand, but those bullets which hit the other person in the body proved to be deadly, leaving so many baffled by the daytime shooting in the popular area. Just a block away at Cermak and State near the red line, police say the shooters crashed this Kia SUV. Witnesses say several people jumped out and left the SUV running. Police tell us the crew inside the white Kia had stolen it. We don't know if it was a carjacking, but we do know those who ran off did not leave any weapons behind, but left the community in disbelief and a family grieving. Now, this deadly shooting took place just two blocks from CPD's District 1. Tonight, police have not released a description and or an image of the shooters, and they have not said if the victims were the intended target or not. Reporting live with this breaking news update in the South Loop, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Joe? All right, Jermont, thank you very much.